Okay, I've got the uh, case pretty much taken apart, and uh, Antec has really improved uh, a number of things on this case over an Antec 900, in my opinion. I mean, this may be obvious to everybody else in the world, but this is my first A1200, so. Uh, I really like how they made the top come off. You undo two screws underneath there, and the whole top just comes off. As compared to the way the other one did, where you could break the tabs if you didn't get it just right. The only thing you got to remember is you got to undo the little power plug for the fan, which is just held in with a couple of clips, comes right out. Poke it through the hole, and then you got to fish the all this good stuff up. But that's how the top would come up, just like that. And uh, the reason I'm taking the top off is because I want to look at the possibilities of liquid cooling the PC and putting a radiator in the top. So I really need to see more about how the chassis is constructed and whether I can make the modifications that I'm, that I'm thinking of making. I really need to take a quick look at it, and uh, this is this is a hell of a long lead. This could go all the way across the room to your other PCs. This is awesome. This is like that's a good three feet of lead off the front panel. Well, while we got this off, you can see you got the big boy 200 millimeter which is good for just wafting air out of there. And I, and I don't see any real problem with ventilating this, probably where those little ridges are. And that would be enough that if there were fans on the PA inside, the radiator is called a PA120.3, a PA thermochill radiator. So you can kind of see the construction of the whole deal here. The front bezels held all the four screws and then once those are released you squeeze these tabs and you should be able to get it up. Looks like it's also held down with two screws on the top. Okay. So don't be trying to pull the front bezel off like the Antec 900 comes off. This one has two screws on the top. But this now, like let's say you wanted to make a red and black themed case, you could take all the plastic parts and do them red, put a red window in it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, just an ideal modder's case. I love Antec's design on this case so far. It's great. Don't see any problems with it. It's just like a great big Antec 900. This would be the first place I would look to put a bunch of liquid cooling. I mean, you could put a 480 in there. You could put an XSPC 480 right in the front. Forget hard drives, forget optical drives, just have a giant radiator in the front. That's not what the man wants. The man wants to preserve all of his original equipment in the front there. And let's take a look at that.